Hey everyone, I'm CNC Sean, and in this video, we're gonna create an ADA sign using the new Braille printer from Quill. So today we're gonna create an ADA sign using two different materials. It'll give us a raised text and the emblem for it, but the Braille side of it, we're gonna use the new Quill Braille printer. It's gonna use a resin dot. You got four different colors you can choose from, about 5,500 dots you get out of that. So really lasts quite a long time. It lays it down. If you don't like something about it, before you cure it, just wipe it off, start over. After it's good, use a UV flashlight quickly. It cures it right up, hardens it, and it works flawless. So now that you got an idea what we're gonna do, let's head over to the software, I'll show you in VCarve how we're gonna program all this. If we go on here, one really important thing you gotta do is make sure your dimensions of your material are right on. Uh, we use this with a micrometer and got exactly what we needed. And the biggest reason for that is we want our cutout to be around each of the people, the, the handicap and the restroom to be the exact depth we need it to be. So when we peel that off, it comes off clean and we're also not going to mar the, uh, the, the bottom layer. So that being said, we're going to zero to the top of our part. We'll hit OK there. Apart from that, it's pretty simple. Um, we've got a, a V carve set in there for all the lines. And that, again, we just went through that first layer. The outside profile is gonna be cut next. We're just cutting that out. Again, just to the depth to go through. And then the quill. The quill uh, I set up in there. I'll show you an edit and the tool. I just named it a quill. It's a drill tool path. In this case, within our uh, controller software, it's gonna be tool 29, and that's how it's gonna call for it. And it's just gonna go down and put the dots on. Now, if you need something to translate for the, the Braille, just go onto Google, look for a Braille translator and you'll be able to import it right into here. Uh, I did that just by importing vectors, pulled it into it, and there you have it. So let's run back to the uh, CNC and get this thing cut. All right, we got everything finished, blew all the dust out of here. This sign turned out fantastic. From the raised letters, uh, the emblems on here, really shows to the precision of this machine. The lower material didn't even get touched on it. We're able to peel that right off. Everything's really clean. Well, let's talk about the Braille. You know, this Braille printer from Quill, you got to see how quick and how easy it is to use. On top of the fact that should something go wrong, you can just wipe it off, start again, and then if it's good, cure it with that flashlight. But overall, you know, it's, it's just a great option. If you're a sign company out there and you're looking to add something like this, if you own one of our machines already, well, we can put it on a lot of the machines. So check with our parts department to see if that might be one of yours. If not, and you're looking to get into CNC, we've shown you all this machine can do and it's a lot. So check us out at shopsaber.com. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.